Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Altair, a fantastic UK company that supplies and manufactures its own um, astro photography equipment, anything from cameras to lenses, uh, telescopes, they pretty much do it all. So I'm going to uh, jump into this video, show you what's in the box, um, and we'll go from there. Alright, so let's get this open. Yeah, I highly recommend this company if you're uh, into the hobby as much as I am. Well, these guys have gone completely over and above and beyond for me. A few moments later. You can see everything's very well packed. second and then we have the Altair Hypercam 183C. So it's really well packaged instructions how to get everything started and where to get your drivers from and software you can use. Like I said again, really, really well packed. Three cables, and there's the camera. Fantastic bit of cable, look at that. Right? Pretty well made, pretty guide, and USB 3. Obviously, this is fan assisted, sorry, fan cord. Let's get the uh, have a look at the lens. Size of that, look. Yeah, nice size of that. Big old sensor in there. Pick up a lot of lights. Brilliant. Yeah. Can't say more than more than anything good about this company after what they've sent out for me. So thank you guys. Can't thank you again enough. Uh, what's it got? Shoes, the neck of it. Not just there. And obviously we've got our cables. So we've got a guide cable, and we've got our USB three cable, as you can see there. Got the bangers and bobs in the background. So that's this one here. We'll go more and more in depth later on in the video. That one. And then obviously this one will be my guide camera. Again, very well packaged. Nice soft packaging. Again, instructions. Get your drivers, how to attach it, everything you need. Camera itself. This is the 178M USB 3. Fantastic little guide camera. Again, you can see the uh, sensor in there, it's a good size. So, that, I mean, you could probably use this for more than just guiding, but that's my plan is to use it for guiding. Um, but we'll see. Could use this for plan better planetary photos as well, maybe even a bit of deep scroll, but we'll test it on both ends. See how it goes. There's the neck again, just to connect it up. There's a, a plastic covering for it. Again, but guide and your USB three. Fantastic. 
and the cables. Again, you've got your uh, guy cable and USB 3 cable. What we'll do is we'll do a, a video, probably do a separate video of setting everything up with my um, my Skywatcher Evo 3, uh, sorry, Evo Star 752ED. So, and then this one should be a guide scope. set up but I just wanted to give uh, the guys at Altair a really big shout out because they just sent this out literally they've blown me away to be fair but let's have a close right then guys so um, what we'll do is we'll have a closer look we'll go with the, uh, the smaller one first so this is obviously for astrophotography um, this will be for well, it's going to go, I'm going to use this, like I said, as a guide, as a guide camera. Um, but I think you could probably easily get away with this for, for shooting planetary photos as well. So, let's have a look. As you can see, really well made. Fantastic bit, yeah. So this is a 178M USB 3. Astro Astro camera. Now the, the difference in these to what I've been using before is obviously where we all start with our DSLRs. So I started off with this and got some okay pictures, but um, I got some you know I'd say really nice pictures to be fair. But um, this wanted that next step up, so uh, we've gone. With Altair, I know a lot of people go with uh, Zoo or ZWO cameras, but I want to keep with uh, obviously I'm British, I'm in the UK, I wanted to stick with a British company. And what better than Altair? Fantastic, fantastic company. Like I say, we're above and beyond for me, way above and beyond. Completely, I hold them in the highest regard. Um, yeah, like I said, I can't say more, more any better than, than what I already have. So yeah, that'll be my guide camera. So we'll be seeing a lot more of this. Obviously, we'll set this up. And this will obviously be connected. Let's get the, uh, the guide scope out. <coughs> this is beautifully made, look. 60mm. Fantastic. Pop that off there. Let's see if you can see the optics in there at all. Brilliantly made that. So obviously this will have a have the neck on that. So I'll just give you a rough idea. So let's pop that up there. That will be screwed onto there like that. So that's your neck put on there. And then <coughs> just loosen off some of that there. So this will be placed inside here. I obviously don't know about that. And then obviously it'll be on, in the rings, obviously connected up, sat on top of the scope, and that obviously connected to your laptop for PH2 guiding. 
which I'll go through in a different video. But um, yeah, so I just, it's a beautiful, beautiful bit of kit, that. Really impressed. Really well made. Love it. So let's pop that back in there. So yeah, that's what was this one of the used for. So I'll just pop the neck off and out that back in the box. Pop that off the door there so you don't get the uh, sense of damage in any way. Pop the plastic cover over the top and then pop that back in the box. And so we'll stick this back in the uh, obviously this is a refracting uh, scope. Scope. So obviously there's no uh, no commentary com <laughs> image to do. I can never spell say that word. It's got dodgy dodgy mouth for me, unfortunately. So let's pop this one away and then get out the Hypercam 183C. Now this is obviously famous fan called. Obviously a lot bigger camera, a lot bigger sensor. So this is what we'll be using to capture our deep DSOs, deep sky objects, and nebulas, galaxies, and everything else. Let's pop that up there. Show you the, uh, show you the size of the... Can you see that in there? There we go. And all that light is just going to hit bang into that. And straight down into the... Uh, into your capturing software and uh, there you go so yeah so there we go so um i will probably put on the screen probably around here some images that i took <coughs> with just the dsr camera and the kit lens so that was this cost me 35 pounds off of ebay uh, it's just an old Rebel XSI, unmodified, um, and then I used um, a Nifty Fifty for a bit of wide wide photography, and then I've got the seventy five three hundred kit lens telephoto telephoto kit lens, which I used to shoot the nebulas, which I'll put on the screen now for you. But yeah, this was, uh, and I'll I'll still use this. I will still use this, but obviously in different setups. Um, but this is obviously my main one, obviously on the uh, Evo uh, 72 ED. So we'll get all this set up. Um, and I'll probably do a setup video, how to set up the telescope, um, how to set everything up, how to guide, and so on and so forth. But yeah, so if it's uh, you know this is if this has been interesting, um, I hope I put Altair in a good good light. But I'm telling you now, guys, fantastic company. Uh, they won't let you down. Delivery literally next day. Um, like I say, I ordered this. I spoke to the gentleman on Friday morning. I had a conversation. I had an issue. I went to talk about that, what that issue was. The gentleman sent out, sent out the equipment. It was here Saturday. You can't do any better than that. So um, yeah, so like you know, if you like it, if you're into astrophotography, um, you know Milky Way shot, shots, nebulas, planets, then please come on, subscribe, join the channel, and um, let's enjoy the way to go. Again, big shout out to all there. I'm not. This is not a sponsored video at all. This is just. I'm very happy with the service. So thanks, guys. Clear skies.